Hiya and welcome to the Huntsman channel. Now today we're going to be taking a look at this rifle. It's the Virog HW100S in .22 calibre. But before we get hands on with the rifle, let's take a quick look at the stats on the Virog HW100S. Well that's the stats on the Vinog HW100S. Now we're from the quarry to the bit of a woodland I've got here on one of my permissions. We're going to do a, a bit of a quick target session. We're going to do four 14 shot strings on my trusty squirrel knockdown target. And uh, let's see how she performs. Now the rotary magazine of the HW100 is simplicity itself, easy to load, even if, even if you aren't lamping, just uh, feeling with your fingers it becomes second nature uh, to load, there's no fiddly rot uh, rotating of any drums to load the pellets, uh, I really can't rate the Vidart magazine enough, it's a 14 shot magazine and the icing on the cake is that Vidart gives you two and that's uh, Excellent, uh, bloody, yeah, fantastic actually. Can't rate them highly enough. Now, loading the HW100 is a breeze, absolutely no fuss involved. Uh, just basically load the magazine, uh, slide the securing latch forward, um, closing the side cocking lever. Excellent system. With these one slight niggle, what does bother me about the side cocking lever, which uh, I will explain later on in the video but overall excellent uh, the Vinoc trigger against two stage excellent trigger a really nice clean crisp trigger very nice now the accuracy and the pellets I'm using at this moment in time uh, is the Air Arms Diablo field uh, what I did find with the Vinoc out of all the rifles I have tested it is the most pellet fussy rifle I have ever tested. First up, the Acapel. Acapel pellets. Uh, I've always used these in BSAs and uh, been a very good pellet, but in the Vinoc, it was all over the place. Uh, I, I, the minute I got a really good group, I'd get the odd pellet, the odd flyer. Uh, that's a ragged all about the size of a 10 pence piece with the Acapels. Uh, next up, the H&M Field Target Trophy Pellets again better groupings than the Acapel slightly bigger than a 5 pence piece a bit ragged, ragged holes that's 3 shot groupings the first grouping there, 14 shot only 2 holes pellet on pellet, not bad very good and those were at 35 yards next up the uh, the Air Arms Diablo Field then about uh, ragged groupings, but uh, about the size of a five pence piece. That's two 14 shot groupings there. And this actually is a 14 shot, uh, one shot dropped there. Not too shabby that. Now moving on to the side by side target test. Craig Whiteley first up. A uh, very good shot uh, is Craig uh, with various rifles. His speciality uh, is shotguns, among others, and uh, he is the shotgun side to our pest control business. 
the S200 and rifle. I also like a uh, very accurate rifle from Air Arms. And a nice 10 shot string from Craig and his S200. Next up, the HW100S, shot by me. Two 14 shot strings. Now sadly, this is uh, the part of the video where the review of the Viroc HW100S has to be cut short. Now I should explain, the, the rifles I review are basically what I own. Uh, I don't get them sent to me or anything like that. Now the Viroc HW100S had to be sold to be funded uh, of my next project, what will be coming up shortly on the Huntsman channel. Now the BSA R10 was sold to fund the Viroc uh, project. Now sadly that rifle has to go. Now basically uh, with my pest control duties I have no need for a 12 foot pound air rifle at this moment in time so basically something I had to give. And the sale of the Viroc is going to fund, part fund uh, my centre fire calibre. Now I'm unsure which uh, make or model I'm basically going for yet. I've got my eyes on a few. Uh, the Browning x Bolt is one of them and the Ticker. Uh, T3 light, just a few centre fire calibers I shall be looking at, so do keep an eye out for that video coming soon. So, what's my overall thoughts on the Viroc HW100S? Now, from the stock to the overall finish on the HW100S was absolutely superb. Uh, lovely walnut stock, uh, quite heavy. Um, nice uh, deep blowing on the rifle. We have the uh, adjustable trigger. Excellent trigger from Viroc. Moving on to the side lever cocking action. Uh, it may look, may look awkward cocking the 100 but believe me, using the side lever is quite simple and works every time. Moving on to the action part of the rifle, we have the two magazines, simple to load, no fiddly rotating barrels to move as you load the pellets, which I found came in handy when I lamping with the uh, 100. Easily load these magazines by feel alone. Excellent, and you get two of them. My only problem with the side lever action is the gaps around the cocking lever, uh, especially when cocking. You're opening the action to the elements, dust, dirt, rain. Uh, I just felt it was a bit exposed, but that's me picking spots somewhat. It's a very well made, accurate rifle. Was it easy to part with the Viroc HW100S? No. Uh, I found out of all the pre charge rifles I've tested, this is one of the best. Uh, well made, accurate, sturdy, well built, and uh, I just loved everything about the rifle apart from the, the gaps on the cocking lever. But I'm fussy. But overall, a classic rifle. Now, proof of pudding is if I was on the lookout for another 12 foot pound pre charge rifle, would I? go back to the Vinehog, definitely. Um, if I ever have to, in need of a 12 foot pound air rifle, I would definitely uh, go back to the Vinehog HW100S. So sadly that's the short review of the Vinehog HW100S. Now there was uh, hunting footage uh, that I have shot with the Vinehog that will be coming up later in a video compilation of basically the best shoots uh, of the various rifles I own. So I'm just holding back on that footage. I didn't really want to put it into this video as it's basically ended on basically a damn beat uh, ending. So until next time, happy hunting, be safe. Bye bye.